a few days ago I was asking what people would like to see next from my channel whether that would be something about uh, my hair or about the coronavirus because as you know Aja in Korea my channel is all about living in Korea and my life specifically and yeah uh, the coronavirus that originated here in Asia is affecting our day-to-day -day lives over here so i thought you guys might want to know about that so i prepared some questions that i can then answer for you guys okay so the first question i wrote down is uh are you working so right now i mean if you don't know automatically by looking this is a classroom. It's my classroom. I am in my classroom right now. That means I'm at work. Um, yes, I am working. However, we do have rules uh, at work and plans in place to not get sick. So for example, uh, there are no students right now. Uh, my school, my hagwon that I work at, has been shut down for this week. Um, so even though I'm here, I'm training, I'm learning, I'm preparing for the, week, the upcoming weeks when there will be children back here again, but there aren't any right now. And one of my rules that my boss has given us is to wear a mask at work so that we don't come into contact with other people's saliva and things. Um, wash our hands frequently. There's hand sanitizer in every classroom and at our desk. Um, you know, we're taking the necessary precautions to make sure that we are safe and working. We're safe and working. Um, another question. Are you quarantined? So, quarantining is something that people do when they are infected or if people think they might be infected. They'll keep them separate from the rest of society um, so that they can't infect other people it's not something that happens typically to people who are not really uh, a worry to people who are not like a worry or a danger I guess so like in my city there are some cases of the virus but not that many it's like, like two or three cases of the virus in this city so most of us are not like suspected to be carrying the virus therefore we're not being quarantined i am not being held to like staying at home or not or being held away from leaving my home or going to another city or anything like that i'm not quarantined um which leads to the next question can you travel so within korea i can travel there are obviously some certain places I would avoid. For example, Daegu. We know that Daegu is a city where one of the highest amounts of outbreak of this disease has occurred. And right now, the government is telling us Daegu is not really a safe place to be out and about. Even people who live in Daegu are not going out and about in Daegu. So, I myself am avoiding the city for now. Um, would I avoid it forever and ever? No, because Daegu got the turn up, you know what I'm saying? But right now, no, I'm not going there. And like traveling outside of Korea, um, eh, yes, I can totally travel. I can leave, I can go to other places, but a lot of countries are worried about Korean citizens bringing the coronavirus to them. So what a lot of countries have been doing is quarantining people when they first arrive from certain Asian countries. Now that quarantine could be up to three weeks long. Obviously, I don't get three weeks of vacation at any time of the year. So I'm not traveling. 
I'm not traveling till this stuff clears itself up. It doesn't make sense for me to be going out and about, trying to go to another country, find out I can't leave the airport for 21 days, you know? I mean, I don't know really how it works. Maybe it's not the airport, but that's not the point. The point is, right now, no, logically, I cannot travel. Um, the next question I wrote down is a plan of action if you do catch it. So, if you catch the coronavirus, first of all, healthcare here in Korea is pretty darn good. And a lot of the things that we've been learning about the coronavirus as, you know, the longer that it's been an issue, we're learning that very young or elderly people are at the highest risk. And then, like, people with compromised immune systems. Myself, I am fit as a fiddle and very healthy. Um, I don't have a compromised immune system. I don't have anything like that should prevent me from recovering normally if I did catch it. So, you know, my plan of action if I catch it, take my butt to the hospital and recover. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have any other, yeah. <laughs> um, so the last question that I wrote down here is, are you worried? Um, like, I guess that would be like, are you worried about catching it? Are you worried about like other people around you? You know, I work in a school, so there is an assumption that at some point when the kids come back, we could catch it from one of the kids or vice versa. I could have it and I could give it to one of the kids. That would be a big deal. But like I said, I work in a place where we are taking all the necessary precautions that we can possibly take. So we wash our hands as soon as we enter the building. We have masks. If I had students right now, my mask would be on and I would be having to enforce with them that they keep their masks on as well. Everybody has their mask on when they're interacting with other people. Everybody's washing their hands, not just once in a while, but frequently. Everybody has hand sanitizer accessible to them all throughout the day. It's on my desk, it's in my classroom, it's in the hallway, it's at the front desk. There's hand sanitizer all around. There's soap in the bathroom for me to wash my hands. There's, you know, there's ways for me to prevent the spread of germs to myself and others. So, no, I'm not really that worried that I'm gonna catch it. Um, now, obviously, I'm not always at work all the time. Um, you know, if I go out on the weekend, I would be at higher risk, right? I can't trust that everybody else is doing all that I'm doing to keep myself and others safe. However, um, you know, I cannot stop my life. I've, I've been saying this, but I cannot stop my life because this is happening, you know? Um, my birthday is coming up. My birthday is on Friday of this week, this week Friday, I'm saying that with confidence that I will edit this video and put it out before my birthday. And so, yeah, my birthday is coming. I am going to celebrate and I am going to have a good time and I am going to go out where there are people oh! and like have some drinks, have some fun. I'm going to do those things. And uh, it's not without worry. It's not that I'm not worried that I might be in danger. It's just that I can't, I'm not going to stop living because I might be in danger. Um, you know, if the coronavirus comes and goes and during that time I've done none of the things I enjoy, well then I will regret it, won't I? I'll be like, man, it wasn't even that big of a deal. But if it comes and goes and I've continued living, then I have nothing to regret. And if it comes and takes me with it, then at least I lived a full life. Oh, that sounds real sad. It's not gonna happen though, because like I said, I'm safe, I'm in a country with you know medical technology. We have the ability to recover from this. I'm not not worried, but I'm just not worried enough to stop living. So if you have any other questions about the coronavirus here in Korea, living, you know, with this happening around us, uh, any other 
questions that I can answer for you about that, please leave that in the comment section. And uh, even if I don't have the answer, I will try my best to find the answer for you. Um, I really like interacting. Blah, blah, blah. I really like interacting with you guys. So I really hope that you will comment, like, subscribe. Um, yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more videos, and. Uh, if you're not really interested about the coronavirus, then just go ahead and let me know what you are interested in seeing, and I'll try and get that out for you as well. So, bye.